Keep it cool. The Iceman. When I was a little girl, said great grandma, the Iceman came. Who was the Iceman? said Jack. The Iceman sold ice. He came with ice to my house, said great grandma. Why did the Iceman come with ice to your house, great grandma? said Jack. The Iceman came with ice to the house so that we could keep food cool, said great grandma. We kept food cool. In the ice. How did the iceman come with ice? Great grandma said Jack. The iceman came with ice in his cart. A horse pulled the iceman's cart, said great grandma. I liked the iceman. I had a horse and cart. Said great grandpa, I was the iceman. Pack it in ice, pack it in ice, pack it in ice. That is the way to keep it nice. Keep it nice, keep it nice, keep it nice, packed up in ice. Keep food fresh. This is a refrigerator. Refrigerators keep food cool and fresh. You can keep a lot of food fresh for longer in a refrigerator. You can keep fruit fresh in a refrigerator. Apples and grapes. And cherries keep fresh for longer in a refrigerator. You can keep vegetables fresh in a refrigerator. Carrots and corn keep fresh for longer in a refrigerator. You can keep pasta fresh in a refrigerator. Ravioli. And fettuccine keep fresh for longer in a refrigerator. You can keep dairy products fresh in a refrigerator. Butter and cheese keep fresh for longer in a refrigerator. No more room. Butter. Oh no. Here comes Maria. With more food. No room here for more butter. Milk. Oh no, here she comes with more food. No room here for more milk. Cheese. Oh no, here she comes with more food. No room here for more cheese. Eggs. Oh no, here comes Maria with more food. No room here for more eggs. Carrots. Come down here. There is a lot of room where the carrots go. Butter. I will come down. Here I come. Maria. Where has the butter gone? I had some butter. Carrots. Come on down, milk. Milk. I will come down. Here I come. Maria. Now, where has the milk gone? I had some milk. Butter. Come down here, cheese. There is room down here for cheese. Cheese, here I come. Maria, where is the cheese? I want some cheese. Milk, 
Come on down, eggs. Eggs, here we come. Maria, I want some carrots. Oh no, this is a mess. The butter and the cheese and the milk are here. But I will have to go and get some more eggs. The pie. Put it in the fridge, said the two little mice. Put it in the fridge, along with the rice. Put it in the freezer, said the two little mice. Put it in the freezer, along with the ice. Take it out, take it out, said the two little mouse. Take it out and eat it. Do you want a slice? Messages. Smoke message. Juan was out playing near the woods. Come here, Juan, called Luis. It's time for us to go back. Juan tried to jump up, but his leg was stuck. I'll pull you out, said Luis. Luis pulled and pulled, but Juan's leg was still stuck. Oh dear, said Luis. I can't carry you because you are stuck and I can't leave you to go to get help. What shall I do? You could call out for help, said Juan. No one will hear me if I call out, said Luis. But I could send a smoke message. The land is flat. Bertie Baxter will see a smoke message from far away. Yes, said Juan. Send a smoke message to Bertie Baxter. He will come and help pull me out. So Louis got some sticks and made a fire. He fanned the sticks and made a flame. Now I'll put some leaves on the fire to make some smoke, said Louis. Louis put some leaves on the fire and made some smoke. Now I'll use the blanket to make a smoke message, he said. Louis held the blanket over the smoke. Then he took it away. The smoke went up into the sky. Louis did that again and again. Bertie Baxter will see the smoke message, Louis said, and he will come to help us. Here he is, here he is, shouted Juan. I told you Bertie Baxter would see the smoke, Louis said. I saw the smoke message, said Bertie Baxter. I saw the smoke message. And I came to help. M is for message. M is for message. I'll send it to you. E is for email. I'll send you a few. S is for spelling. I've checked it. You see? S is for send now. To you, Jack, from me. A is for answer, a message from Jack. G is for get mail, my mail came back. E is for error, I really am slack. 
messages in space. Long, long ago, people used smoke and drums and runners to send messages to places far, far away. Today, people can send messages to places far, far away by using satellites in space. Research satellites. Research satellites are satellites in space. There are many kinds of research satellites in space. These satellites send messages back to Earth. The Hubble Telescope. The Hubble Telescope is a satellite in space. The Hubble Telescope sends messages back to Earth. The Hubble Telescope takes photos of things in space. It sends the photos back to Earth. Medsets. Medsets are satellites in space. Medsets take photos of Earth. They take photos of clouds and storms. They take photos of where it is cold and where it is hot. Medsets tell people about the weather. Comsets. Comsets are satellites in space. There are a lot of comsets in space. Comsets send messages and pictures all over the world. Comsets send messages to and from telephones and television. Comsets send telephone messages. Comsets send email messages. Comsat sent faxes. When you use your computer to serve the internet, the messages are sent to you by a comsat. When you watch live TV, the messages are sent to you by comsat. The chat room. Emily. Hi, Joel. Hi, Bomi. It's five o'clock. I hope that you are both online. Joel, I'm here. I'm ready to chat. Bomi, so am I. Did you have a good day? I hope it was better than mine. Joel, I had a good day. Why was your day so bad, Bomi? Bomi, well, it began when my brother jumped on me in bed. Joel, but your brother's only little. Did he hurt you? Bomi, I know he's only little. He didn't hurt me. But when he jumped on me, he woke me up. I was having the best dream ever. I was boss of my school for a day. Joel, that's too bad. I wish I were boss of my school for a day. Emily, so do I. It would be fun. I would let the children play all day. Bomi, that's not the only bad thing. When I got out of bed, I stood on Sam's tail. He cried out and jumped in the air. He landed in my fish tank. Joel, that's too bad. What did the fish do? Bomi, the fish flew in the air and landed on my bed. Emily, maybe they wanted to sleep.
Bomi. Very funny, Emily. They were trying to swim in my bed. Joel, that's too bad. What did you do? Bomi, I called to my dad. He ran into my bedroom and he put all the fish back in the tank. Then he put some water in the tank. The fish swam around and around in the tank. Dad said they would be fine. Emily, that is good, but you did have a bad day. Joel, I hope that you have a good day tomorrow. Bomi, thank you. I hope I have a good day too. I hope you do as well. Tell me about your day when we meet tomorrow. Goodbye. Emily, goodbye. Talk to me. A smile shows my happy face. A frown makes me look sad. Here, I'm looking very pleasant. But now, I'm looking mad. A smile or a wave says hi. It's nice to say hello. A wave can also say goodbye. When I see someone go. Paint my wings. I wish I was pretty. Brown moth was sad. She looked into a puddle and saw her face. She had brown wings. She had a brown face. And her legs were brown too. I wish I was beautiful, she said. Monarch fluttered down. Monarch was a pretty orange and black butterfly. Brown moth sobbed Monarch. You are so pretty, said Brown moth. Monarch fluttered his pretty orange and black wings. Yes, I am pretty, he said. A brown moth can never be pretty like me. Brown moth started to cry. Don't be so sad, brown moth, said a little voice. You fly at night. You don't have to be pretty. Brown moth looked up. There was a caterpillar. She was brown with black legs. You are pretty, said brown moth. I wish I was as pretty as you. Caterpillar and brown moth looked into the puddle. Do you know what I'm going to turn into soon as caterpillar? No, said brown moth. I'm going to be the prettiest moth you will ever see, said caterpillar. I'll fly at night. I fly in the moonlight. I'll be very pretty. You are so lucky, said brown moth. I want to be pretty like you. Brown moth, look at you, said caterpillar. Open your wings. You are pretty. When I'm a moth, I look just like you. Brown moth looked in the puddle again. She fluttered her wings. Why, look, she said. I am pretty. Yes, you are pretty, said Caterpillar. Everyone is pretty 
in a special way. I'm pretty in my special way. And a monarch is pretty in his special way. And I'm pretty in my special way too, said Brown Moth. Butterfly wings. Butterfly, butterfly, spread your wings. Wings the shade of golden rings. Fly through the leaves where the birds sing. Fly through the park where the children swing. Fly through the branches where the spiders cling. Butterfly, butterfly, spread your wings. Enjoy the sunshine that summer brings. Butterflies and moth. Butterflies and moth seem to look the same. They both have wings. They both have antenna. They are the same shape. But they are not the same. Most butterflies fly in the day. Most moths fly at night. But some butterflies in hot places go out at night. Some moths in cold places go out in the day. Butterflies' wings are often bright. Moth wings are often pale. Butterflies have nubs on the end of their antenna. Moth have no nubs on their antenna. Moth antennas are softer than butterflies antenna. Butterflies rest with their wings up. Moth rest with their wings spread out. Here are some butterflies and moth. Which are butterflies? Which are moth? In the Cabbage Patch Narrator It's a warm afternoon in the garden. The scarecrow is watching over the cabbage. Cabbage one. What's that sound? Cabbage two. It's the caterpillars coming to eat us. Cabbage one. Farmer Brown will not be able to sell us at the market if the caterpillars put holes in our leaves. Caterpillar one. Look at those lovely cabbages. Let's stop and have lunch. Caterpillar 2. I'm very hungry. Cabbage leaves are tasty. Narrator. The caterpillars start eating the leaves. The scarecrow looks over at the caterpillars eating the cabbages. Scarecrow. You bad caterpillars, get off the cabbages and leave them alone. Caterpillar 1. He can't do anything to us. Narrator. A blackbird lands on the scarecrow's shoulder and starts pecking at his arm. Scarecrow. What are you doing, blackbird? Blackbird. Sorry, Scarecrow, I need some straw to finish my nest. Scarecrow, if you keep on pecking at my arm, it will fall off. Narrator, Scarecrow's arm breaks and falls on the cabbages. It scares the blackbird who flies away. Caterpillar 1. Help! What is on top of me? I cannot move. Caterpillar 2. Scarecrow's arm has fallen on you. Cabbage 1. 
That will teach you for eating my leaves. You bad caterpillar. Caterpillar too. I will pull you out. Hold on to my legs. Hold on tight. Narrator. The caterpillar pulls his friend free. The two caterpillars fall off the cabbages on the ground. Scarecrow. Who will fix my arm? I'm no good with only one arm. Cabbage too. Farmer Brown will fix your arm because you saved us from the caterpillars. Narrator. The scarecrow closes his eyes. He knows Farmer Brown will fix his arm tomorrow. Many types of wings. There are wings with spines, wings with scent, wings that make music, wings like leaves, wings like lace, wings you can see through, wings like jewels, wings with hair, wings with stripes and barbs, and wings with eyes. Playing games. Games around the world. I live in Australia. This is a game I play. The game is called basketball. I play it with my friends. We try and throw the ball through the hoop. I live in New Zealand. This is a game I play. The game is called sticks. I play it with my friends. We sit on the ground. We tap the sticks on the ground. I live in Japan. This is a game I play. The game is called clapping. I play this game with my hands. I play it with a friend. We clap our hands together. I live in Holland. This is a game I play. The game is called flying a kite. I play it with my friends. We fly our kite in the air. I live in Canada. This is a game I play. The game is called Make the Biggest Snowman. I play it with my friends. We make the snowman out of snow. I live in Samoa. This is a game I play. The game is called soccer. I play it with my friends. We run and kick a ball. I live in the United States. This is a game I play. The game is called jump rope. I play it with a friend. We turn the rope and jump. The Dame Without a Name This is the Dame without a name. She came to play a tennis game. She fell on the court. Then she was lame. She said her laces were to blame. This is the Dame without a name. She came to play a hockey game. She fell on the ice. Then she was lame. She said the goalie was to blame. Katty wants to jump rope.
Katty Kangaroo was good at running and she was good at jumping. I want to learn a new game, she said. I want to learn how to jump rope. Do you know how to jump rope? She said to Koala. No, said Koala. I am too short and fat to jump rope. And I live in the trees. You can jump rope in the trees. Do you know how to jump rope? Katty Kangaroo said to Platypus. No, said Platypus. You have to stand up to jump rope. Ask Emu. So Katty Kangaroo went to Emu. Can you jump rope? She said to Emu. Yes, said Emu. I can jump rope. Look at me. So Katty Kangaroo looked and Emu jumped rope. I can do that. I can do that, said Katty Kangaroo. No, you can't, said Emu. Not with a baby kangaroo in your pouch. You will have to wait until your baby is big. Then you can jump rope. The new jump rope game. Pat, let's jump rope. K, I can jump rope. My leg is broken. Sue, you can sit on a chair. You can turn the rope sitting on a chair. Jen, I can jump rope. My arm is broken. Sue, can you turn the rope with the arm that is not broken? You and Kay can turn the rope. Pat and I will jump. Pat, we will make up a new jump rope game. We will show the game to Grandma. Kay. Come on, Sue. We will turn the rope. Sue. Come on, Pat. We will jump. Jen. I will make up a new jump rope song. You can jump to the song. Jump, jump, jump. Up and down. Jump, jump, jump. And turn around. Okay. Pat and Sue, jump, 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 up and down, jump, 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 and turn around. Jen, jump up high, jump down low, jump, 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 fast and slow. K, Pat and Sue, jump up high, jump down low, jump, 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 fast and slow. Jen, Grandma, Grandma, come and see the new jump rope game. Grandma, I like the new jump rope game. I will jump with Pat and Sue. Turn the rope, Kay and Jen. Turn the rope and sing with me. Grandma, Jen, Kay, Pat and Sue. Jump, jump, jump. Up and down, jump, 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 and turn around. Jump up high, jump down low, jump, 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 fast and slow. My playground. My playground has a lookout. My playground has a swing. My playground has a ladder. It has almost everything. My playground has a balance beam. My playground has a slide. My playground has some bushes where I can go and hide. 
rules, rules, rules. Be careful. Be careful, said my mother. Play in here. Be careful, said my father. Play in here. Be careful, said my grandma. Play in here. Be careful, said my grandpa. Play in here. Be careful, said my brother. Play in here. Be careful, said my sister. Play in here. Be careful, said my teacher. Play in here. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Please do not touch the pot. The pot is hot. Rule signs. Look at this sign. It means stop. Look at this sign. It means no swimming. Look at this sign. It means no crossing. Look at this sign. It means no dogs. Look at this sign. It means no bicycle. Stop and look. Mama duck. We will go to the park. Daddy duck. Here is the road. Stop and look. Daffy duck. There are no cars. Quacky duck. There are no trucks. Daddy duck. We can cross the road. Mama duck. We will go to the pound. Daddy duck. Here is the pound. Stop and look. Daffy duck. There are no boats. Quacky duck. There are no boys and girls. Daddy duck. We can swim in the pound. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. That is not the way to go. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. This is not a place to hop. Up high in the air. Sally's first swing. Kate and Jack like to be up high in the air. They like to swing on a trapeze. The trapeze was high up in a tent. Under the trapeze was a big net. The net was under the trapeze to catch Jack and Kate if they fell. Sally liked to watch Kate and Jack swing on the trapeze. Sally wanted to swing on the trapeze too. Can I swing with you today? Sally said to Kate. I would like to swing on the trapeze with you and Jack. Kate and Jack stopped swinging. Kate came down to get Sally. Come up with me, said Kate. I will put the rope on you. Then you can swing on my trapeze with me. Jack will catch you. Jack started to swing on his trapeze. We will have to wait for Jack to swing in and out and in 
and out. Then we can swing out to meet him, said Kate. Now, said Kate, and they swung out to meet Jack. Now, said Jack, and he grabbed Sally's arms. Sally swung back with Jack. Wow, said Sally. That was good fun. I like swinging on the trapeze. Look at me swing. I can do most anything. See me swing, said the cat to the king. I can swing on a piece of string. I can swing right through this ring. I can do most anything. Tight rope and trapeze. This is a tight rope. Some people walk on tight ropes. People walk on tight ropes high up in the air. Sometimes people on tight ropes hold a pole. The pole helps the people stay on the tight rope. This is a trapeze. People swing on a trapeze. People swing on a trapeze high up in the air. Some people swing from one trapeze to another trapeze. Tigers on the tight rope. Tammy, I want to walk on the tightrope. Terry, I will do it too. I think it will be fun to walk on a tightrope. Tommy, I will come with you. Teddy, I will come too. Tommy, I like it up high. Teddy, I must not look down. I want to go on the tightrope. But if I look down, I will fall into the net. Tammy, I will go first. I will be the first one to walk on the tightrope. Terry, I will go after Tammy. I like the tightrope. I can look down. I will not fall into the net. Tommy, I like it up high. I am going to run on the tightrope. I'm not going to walk. Teddy, if you are going to run, you will have to be last. We will all walk the tightrope first. Then you can run across. Tammy, here I go. I am across. Terry, here I go. I am across. Teddy, I can do it. I must not look down. Tammy, come on, Teddy. Terry, you can do it. Teddy, Tommy, Teddy is across. Here I come. Watch me run. Tammy, oh no. Terry, Tommy has gone too fast. Teddy, Tommy has fallen off into the net. Trapeze. Trapeze. Swinging, swaying, twisting, turning, tumbling, up, out, across, back, trapeze. Wall paintings. Reinhardt, wall painter. This is Reinhardt. She paints pictures. She has been painting 
all her life. Sometimes people ask Reinhardt to paint pictures on walls. First, she has to paint the background. Then she paints the picture. Rain paints many office walls. Sometimes people ask her to paint walls outside and inside. Rain painted plants, animals, birds, and fish on these office walls. Sometimes people ask Rain to paint unusual walls. Rain uses many brushes and many paints. Sometimes she mixes the paints before she starts painting. When she is painting outside, Rain wears sunscreen. It took Rain four weeks to finish this painting. She used a lot of paint. People come from long way away to see this painting. Rain has painted pictures on a lot of walls now and a lot of people have seen her paintings. Her dream is to paint a picture on the biggest wall of all. Where is my pail? I want a picture on my wall. I want a picture of a snail. I'll go and get some purple paint and put it in my yellow pail. Where is my pail? Where is my pail? I put it by the wooden rail. I want a picture on my wall. I want a picture of a quail. I'll go and get some orange paint and put it in my yellow pail. Where is my pail? Where is my pail? I left it on a rusty nail. Where did it come from? Nana Fran sat in her rocking chair. She looked out the window at a wall across the street. What a dirty wall, she said. I wish someone would clean it. Then she saw a little mouse running across the street. That's funny, Nana Fran said. It looks like that mouse is carrying something. The next day, Nana Fran sat in her rocking chair. She looked out the window at the wall across the street. Oh my, she said, someone has cleaned the wall. Nana Fran put on her glasses. On the bottom of the wall, someone had written Mouse Magic. Nana Fran smiled. Now the wall is clean, but it is bare. She said, I wish someone would put something on it. Then she saw a spider climbing down a street lamp. A bee was flying up to the spider. That's funny, she said. It looks like that spider and that bee are both carrying something. The next day, Nana Fran sat in her rocking chair. She looked out the window at the wall 
across the street. Oh my, she said. Someone has painted nice, bright pictures on the wall. Nana Fran put on her glasses. On the bottom of the wall, someone had written, Be beautiful, spider special. Nana Fran smiled, sitting on a seat by the wall, where a mouse, a spider and a bee, they all smiled too. Painting the library wall. Teacher, this wall does not look good at all. It is too bare. I think we should paint it. Mario, can we help paint the wall? Teacher, why not? You could paint a picture on the wall. Henry, what shall we paint? Angela, we could paint some animals. Carmel, we could paint some fish. Mario, we could paint some books. Henry, we could paint some children. Teacher, why don't we paint some children reading some books? Angela, how long will it take us to paint the picture? Teacher, we need big pictures to go on the wall, so it will take us a long time. First, we will do our drawing on a big sheet of paper to see what they look like. Henry, will we do them with pencil first? Teacher, yes, we will do them with pencil first. Mario, will we paint the paper pictures? Teacher, yes, we will paint the paper pictures. We need to make them bright. Carmel, my picture is done. Teacher, here is a place on the wall for you, Carmel. You can draw your picture on the wall now. Then you can paint your picture. Henry, can I draw my wall picture next to Carmel? Teacher, yes. Mario, can I draw on the wall now? Teacher, yes. Come on, Angela. You can draw over here. These pictures look very good. When you are done, we will have the very best library wall. Paint the sky. I am a little airplane. Up high, so high, so high. I paint a pretty smoke trail right across the sky. First, I make a cat shape. Then I make a dog, then a bird, and then a mouse, and last of all, a frog. What do I do? Work. Most people work. Some people go to work in the morning and come home at night. Some people work at home. Some people work away from home. Where people work. Some people work inside. Some people work outside. Some people work under the ground. Some people work up in the air. Some people work in the city. Some people work in the country. Some people 
work on the ocean. Some people work in the desert. Some people work in space. Some people work in snow and ice. What people wear? Some people wear special clothes to work. Some people wear special suits. Some people wear special hats. Some people wear special boots. Why people work? Most people work for money. Some people work to help other people. Some people work to grow food so that they can have something to eat. This is my job. I am an artist. I paint blobs for a job. I am a cook. I husk cobs for a job. I am a cleaner. I clean knobs for a job. I am a police officer. I stop mobs for a job. Little Polly Peppercorn's new job. I want a new job, said Little Polly Peppercorn. I don't want to look at this computer all day. I want a new job that doesn't have a computer. You could be a cleaner, said Betty Black. You could clean houses. Then you wouldn't have to look at a computer all day. No, I don't like cleaning, said little Polly Peppercorn. I won't be a cleaner. You could be a painter said Billy Brown. You could paint pictures and sell them in town. Then you wouldn't have to look at a computer all day. No, I can't paint, said little Polly Peppercorn. I won't be a painter. I want to be outside, said little Peppercorn. Polly Peppercorn, I want a job that's outside. I want a job that's fun. And I want a job that's fast. I know, said Betty Black. You can be a jockey. You are little. You will be outside. You will have fun. And you'll go fast. The bus driver. Bus driver. Good morning. How are you today? Yoshi. I'm just fine today. Bus driver. Are you going to town? Yoshi. Yes, I'm going to town. I work in town. Bus driver, what work do you do? Yoshi, I'm a window cleaner. I clean the windows of the big tall buildings in town. Bus driver, good morning. How are you today? Felix, I'm just fine today. Bus driver, are you going to town? Felix, yes, I'm going to town. I work in town. Bus driver, what work do you do? Felix, I work in an office. I have a computer. I use my computer all day. I work in a big, tall building in town. Bus driver. Good morning. How are you today? Mala. 
I'm just fine today. Bus driver, are you going to town? Yes, I'm going to town. I work in town. Bus driver, what work do you do? Mala, I work in an office. I sell buildings. I sell big, tall buildings in town. The bus driver, you all work in big, tall buildings. I drive a bus. But I live in a big, tall building in town. Mary Mop. Mary Mop, Mary Mop. Heat the water up for Bob. Mary Mop, Mary Mop. Make the coffee just for Bob. Bob, Bob, turn the knob. Where, or oh where, is Mary Mob? Wheels go round. Wheels and more wheels. Wheels then and now. Wheels were first made a long, long time ago. Wheels were round and they had a hole in the middle. People used wheels on carts and wagons. People and animals pulled or pushed the carts and wagons. Today, you can see wheels on many things. Bicycles have wheels. Buses have wheels. Cars have wheels. Motorcycles have wheels. Planes have wheels. Tractors have wheels. Skates have wheels. Wheelchairs have wheels. More wheels. Look around. Look for wheels. You can see wheels on a farm. You can see wheels on a boat. You can see wheels at the fair. You can see wheels at the airport. What wheels are made of? Wheels can be made of wood. Wheels can be made of iron. Wheels can be made of metal. Wheels can be made of plastic. The first carts and wagons had wooden wheels. The wooden wheels did not have tires. Now wheels have tires. The tires are made of rubber. Parts of a wheel. This is a bicycle wheel. Some wheels have parts called a rim, hub and tire. What wheel parts are made of? Rim, metal. Hub, metal. Tire, rubber. Wheels. Round, round, round. Round, round, round. Where, or oh where, can wheels be found? On a bus and on a car. You can see wheels near and far. Round, round, round. Round, round, round. Turning, turning on the ground. Mice on wheels. Let's go and play on the wheel said Mandy Mouse to Maxim Mouse. Mandy got on the wheel. She ran and she ran, and the wheel went round and round. Mandy ran faster and faster. The wheel went faster 
and faster. Look out! shouted Maxim. But the wheel fell over and Mandy fell off. The wheel hit the door of the cage. Look! said Maxim. Let's go! The two mice ran out of the cage. What's this? said Mandy. Let's get on. The two mice got on a little toy with wheels. This is good, said Maxim. These wheels go round and round, and we don't have to run and run. Look out! shouted Mandy. Here comes the cat. The mice jumped off the toy with wheels and ran back into the cage. We'll go out and have fun again when the cat is gone, said Mandy. Yes, said Maxim. I like our new toy with wheels. I spy. Bobby, I wish the rain would stop. I want to go and play. Dino, I wish the rain would stop too. Sandy, let's play a new I spy game until the rain stops. Nikki, what is your new I spy game? Sandy, you have to see something in this room with wheels. Then you say, I spy with my little eye something beginning with. Dino, I'll go first. I spy with my little eye something beginning with T. Sandy, is it truck? Dino, yes. Sandy, I spy with my little eye something else beginning with T. Dino, is it tractor? Sandy, no, it isn't tractor. Bobby, is it train? Sandy, yes, it's train. Bobby, I spy with my little eye something beginning with C. Sandy, is it car? Bobby, no, it isn't. Nikki, Something beginning with C. Is it carriage? Bobby, no, it isn't carriage. Dino, something beginning with C, with wheels. I can't think of anything else. Sandy, we give up. What else is there in this room that begins with C, and has wheels. Bobby, clock. Nikki, clocks don't have wheels. Bobby, this one does. Look, look here at the back of this clock. It has little wheels. Round and round, round and round, and round and round. Goes the little wheel I found. Round and round and round and round, the little wheel makes not a sound. Round and round and round and round, rolling, rolling on the ground. Up and down and in and out. My little wheel goes round about. Big rigs. Page two. Big trucks. Big trucks are used for moving things. They can move many things at the same time.
big trucks can move things where planes, trains, and boats cannot. Page three. Big trucks move things from one house to another. Big trucks can even move a house. What other things can big trucks move? Big trucks take food to food stores. Big trucks take gas to gas stations. What other things can big trucks take to stores? Page four. Big trucks need many wheels to move big loads. Some trucks have 32 wheels. Big trucks have many lights so people can see them at night. Page five. Big trucks need good brakes so that they can stop with their big loads. When drivers put on the brakes, the big trucks make a loud shh sound. What other sounds do big trucks make? Page six. Drivers of big trucks must take a special test. Drivers have to drive their trucks safely to pass the test. Drivers have to know the road rules to pass the test. What are some road rules? Page seven. Big trucks have radios so that truck drivers can talk to each other. What other things do big trucks have? Page eight. Truck drivers have to drive a long way. A long trip can take many days. There are places for big trucks to stop on the roads. These places are truck stops. At truck stops, truck drivers can get food, take a shower, and sleep. Page 9. Some big trucks have a bed in the truck so that drivers can stop their trucks and sleep when they are not near a truck stop. Some truck drivers spend more time in their truck than they spend at home. Would you like to be a big truck driver? Page 10. Word power. Find. Around. Drive. Every. Fast. Late. Never. Stop. Very. Page 11. Look at me. Look at me. I have a cap and two big lights. My paint is red and shiny bright. I carry cars both old and new, black and white and green and blue. Look at me. I carry tree trunks cut as logs. I carry them in snow and fog. I carry cows and sheep and pigs. I am a very mighty rig. Look at me, I carry every kind of freight, right on time and never late. Page 12. Auntie Jane's race. Dad and I are at a truck race. We are going to see Auntie Jane race her big truck. It is my first big truck race. The trucks are getting ready for the race. They make a lot of noise. This is fun. Page 13. The big trucks will drive past us very fast, says Dad. The trucks will make a loud noise. Screech. That is the sound of their brakes. As they slow the trucks down. If the trucks are racing, I ask, why do they want to slow down? The trucks have to go around this bend that says they have to slow down to go around this bend. Page 14. The race starts. Auntie Jane's big red truck is behind. She is driving fast to catch up. Auntie Jane's big red truck is catching up as she drives past us. Screech. Auntie Jane's brakes make a noise when she goes around the bend. Page 15. Auntie Jane's truck is coming around again. She is passing the first truck. Auntie Jane's big red truck is going very fast. Here comes Auntie Jane again, I yell. Auntie Jane is in the lead. I put my hands over my ears. I wait 
for the screech of the brakes. There is no noise. Page 16. Dad, Auntie Jane's brakes are not working, I shout. Dad shouts back. Auntie Jane's truck is going too fast. Auntie Jane is trying to stop her big red truck. She can't stop it. The big truck crashes into the fence on the side of the track and stops. Page 17. Dad and I run over to the fence to see if Auntie Jane is hurt. Auntie Jane climbs out of the truck. She is not hurt, but she is not happy. I shake my head. This big red truck is not going to win the race today, I say. Page 18. The Big Rig Race. Page 19. Today is race day. All the big rigs are here. But Felix is not here. Felix is always late. Hurry up, Felix. Hurry up, Felix. Hurry up, Felix. Hurry up, Felix. I'm sorry I'm late. I went to the car wash. Page 20. The race starts. The trucks race down the track. Then they come to a bend. Rose, Buzz, and Bubbles go around the bend. Felix and Fern are side by side. Get out of my way. You get out of my way. As they get to the bend, their wheels bump. They go off the track and into some hay. I'm all right. I've just got a wobbly wheel. Page 21. I'm not all right. I fell over and I can't get up. Don't worry, Fern. Help is coming. Rose, Buzz, and Bubbles are still racing. The end of the race is close. People are cheering. The air is full of dust. I just need to go a little faster. I think I can get to the front. Yes, I did it. Well done, Bubbles. You won the race. Page 22. But where are Felix and Fern? Here I am. I feel much better now that I'm up on my wheels again. Here I am. My wobbly wheel is fixed. The trucks drive up to get their prizes. Bubbles gets first prize. Rose and Buzz get prizes too. The crowd cheers. That was the best big race ever. Page 23. Big Rig Rap. Speeding along on Highway 5, an 18-wheeler in overdrive. Big wheels roar, rumble, and roll. Stop at the gate and pay a road toll. Filled with a load of iron and steel, a big truck driver sitting at the wheel, flying past road signs and telephone poles, swerving to miss some big potholes. Pulling into town on a narrow road, ready to deliver yet another load. It's just a day's work for the driver of the truck. And he'll get another load with a little bit of luck. Diving down. Page 2. Scuba diving. In 1943, two men invented a way of breathing underwater. These men were Jacques Yves Cousteau and Emil Gagnon. Since then, scuba divers have been able to swim and breathe underwater. Page 3. What does a scuba diver do? A scuba diver swims underwater and breathes air from a tank. What does a scuba diver need? A scuba diver needs an air tank. The air tank is tied on with straps. The scuba diver breathes air from a tank. The air comes down a hose and into the scuba diver's mouth. Page 4. A scuba diver needs a mask to see underwater. 
A scuba diver needs flippers to swim fast underwater. A scuba diver needs a wetsuit to keep warm if the water is cold. Page five. A scuba diver needs to wear a special vest. The special vest is joined to the air tank by a hose. This hose has buttons on it. One button lets air out of the vest. The scuba diver lets air out of the vest to sink down. One button lets air into the vest. When the vest has air in it, the scuba diver will float. Page six. A scuba diver needs to wear weights to stay underwater. A scuba diver needs to carry special equipment. A scuba diver should carry an underwater flashlight, a compass, a diving knife, and wear a diving watch. Page seven. Rules for scuba divers. A person who wants to scuba dive must go to scuba diving classes. A scuba diver needs to learn the rules of scuba diving to be safe in the water. One rule is that a scuba diver must always dive with another person. Page eight. Why do people scuba dive? Some people scuba dive to look at fish and other underwater animals. People can take photos under the water too. People scuba dive in rivers and in the ocean. Some people scuba dive in the ocean to catch fish, crabs, shrimps, and lobsters. Page nine. Some people also scuba dive to find treasures. Sunken boats are fun to look at, and they are good places for finding treasures. Scuba diving can be a job. Some scuba divers go under the water to explore or fix boats. Page 10. Word power. Find. From. Mask. Most. Must. Other. Over. Stay. Wreck. Page 11. On the ocean floor. Freddy Fish lives on the ocean floor. Christina Crab lives right next door. Two rocks away lives Sammy Squid. And on the ledge lives Starfish Sid. Their deep sea garden is bright as day with coral castles where jellyfish play. There are shells and rocks and fish with wings and seaweed and silt that the current brings. There are caves and treasures and ships to explore. All this on the ocean floor. Page 12. Crab wants to dive. Page 13. Sam is a crab. He walks sideways and he is tired of walking sideways. He wants to dive. Sam watches the seabirds dive. They are good divers. He watches the seals dive. Sam thinks that seals are the best divers of all. If they can dive, thinks Sam, why can't I dive too? Page 14. Sam sees a pelican. The pelican is watching a fish in the water. Excuse me, says Sam. You dive very well. Will you teach me to dive? Crabs can't dive, says the pelican. Crabs should be happy to walk sideways. The pelican dives into the water. Sam gets very wet. Page 15. Sam stands on a rock. A seal is diving into the water. Will you teach me to dive, calls Sam. Crabs can't dive, calls the seal. The seal hits the water, splashing Sam. Page 16. 
I will teach myself to dive, says Sam. Sam climbs onto a rock and dives into the water. It is not a good dive, but it is a dive. Sam tries again and again. Each time he dives, he gets better. Sam sees the other divers watching him. They are laughing. Page 17. Sam dives off the rock one more time. When he hits the water, he makes only a small ripple. Did you see that? Says the pelican. What a dive, shouts the seal. Crabs can dive. Sam is the best diver I have ever seen. Now Sam does not mind walking sideways. He is the best diver of all. Page 18, down to the wreck. Page 19, one day diver Dorothy is diving. She finds a ship that has sunk to the bottom of the sea. It is a wreck. She swims over to it. Oh dear, there are two big sharks swimming around the wreck. What do you want, diver Dorothy? I want to explore this old wreck. No, you can't. We are guarding it for King Neptune. He is the ruler of the seas. Page 20. Where can I find King Neptune? I will ask him if I can explore the wreck. Do you see that big cave over there? Go to the cave and call out loudly. Diver Dorothy swims over to the cave. King Neptune, King Neptune, are you there? Come in, please. Come into my cave. Diver Dorothy enters the big cave. King Neptune sits on a beautiful throne with fish all around him. Page 21. What do you want, Diver Dorothy? I want to explore the wreck. I would like to bring the old ship back to the shore and fix it up. Then people can come and see it. Come with me. Let's visit the wreck together. When they get to the wreck, Divert Dorothy and King Neptune meet the two sharks. Look at all the sea animals here, Divert Dorothy. Small fish are safe in the wreck from other fish. Page 22. Moray eels find homes here too. Crabs live near the bottom of the old wreck. A lot of sea animals hold onto the old wood on the boat. Many sea animals live on this wreck. I do not want to bring it back to the shore. Why don't you bring people out to the wreck? You can show them around. Thank you, King Neptune. That's a great plan. People will be able to visit the wreck and it will stay a safe home for the sea animals. Page 23, fly and dive. I am a pelican in the air, soaring over everywhere, searching over land and ocean, looking for any kind of motion. I have the most amazing eye. I spot my food from way up high. My wings go back to make a V, then I dive right down into the sea. Gymnastics. Joella tries hard. Joella wanted to be a gymnast. She wanted to swing on the bars. Joella wanted to tumble on the mat. But most of all, she wanted to balance on the beam. Page four. You'll be able to do it, said her mother. You'll be able to do it if you try really hard. But I'm afraid, said Joella. You can still do a lot of things when you're afraid, said her mother. You've always tried hard and now you can do a lot of things. If you try hard, 
you'll be able to balance on the beam. Page 5. I'll make you a beam, said her father. I'll make you a special wide beam. You can learn to balance on a wide beam first. So Joella's father made a special wide beam. Page 6. Joella was afraid, but she tried and tried. She wobbled and wobbled, and then she fell off. Then she tried and tried some more. Page 7. I can do it, Joella cried one day. I can walk along the balance beam. Now I will try and try until I can run along the balance beam. Good girl, said her mother. Keep trying, said her father. Page 8. So Joella tried and tried to run along the balance beam. I can do it, Joella called out one day. I can do it. Good girl, said her mother. Now what, said her father. Page 9. Now I'm going to try and turn around on the balance beam, said Joella. I'm not afraid now. We're proud of you, said Joella's mother and father. You were afraid, but you tried and tried, and now you can do it. Page 10. Word meanings. Events. A. Calendars. B. Important happenings. C. Fish. Handles. A. Kind of a hammer. B. Gloves. C. Part of something to hold. Springboard. A. Tool. B. Cutting board. C. Springy board for takeoffs. Tentacles. A. Insect. B. Cake. C. Parts of an octopus. Wobble. A. Not steady. B. Jelly. C. Furry animal. Wooden. A. Toy. B. Made of wood. C. Shoe. Page 11. Tumble and twist. Tumbling over and over and over and over and over and down. Twisting, high in the air, around and around and around and down. Page 12. Gymnastics. Gymnasts put chalk on their hands so that their hands do not slip. 13. Gymnastics is a sport. People who do gymnastics are called gymnasts. Gymnasts have to train very hard. Many gymnasts start to train when they are young. There are a lot of events in a gymnastics competition. Men and women do not enter the same events. Some events are for women and some events are for men. In most events, there are two parts. In one part, all of the gymnasts have to do the same exercises. In the other part, the gymnasts can make up their own exercises to do. Page 14, floor exercises. Gymnasts do floor exercises on a big square mat. Both men and women do floor exercises. The men do a lot of balances, jumps, and tumbles. Women do different kinds of jumps and balances. The women dance and tumble in time to music. Page 15. Pommel horse. The pommel horse is used only by men. The pommel horse is padded and has two handles on the top. The gymnasts hold onto the handles and swing their legs from side to side and around the pommel horse. The gymnasts try not to touch the pommel horse with their legs. This event 
is only for men. Page 16. Parallel bars. Even. Another event for men gymnasts is the even parallel bars. Two bars are side by side on a stand. The gymnasts have their hands on the bars and hang their bodies between the two bars. Sometimes they swing their bodies up and over the bars. Sometimes the gymnasts have to stay very still and use their hands and arms to balance on the bars. Uneven. Women gymnasts have an event with two parallel bars too, but the women gymnasts use uneven parallel bars. One of the bars is higher than the other bar. The low bar is in front of the higher bar. The gymnast swing around both bars and flip over and between the bars. Sometimes gymnasts balance in a handstand on top of the high bar. Page 17. Balance beam. Women gymnasts have an event using a wooden beam. The beam is long and thin and stands up above the ground. The gymnasts run, jump, turn, and flip along the beam. They do cartwheels and handsprings and balance on the beam. Horizontal bar. There is one other event for men gymnasts using a bar. The men use a bar which is a long way above the ground. It is called a horizontal bar. The men swing around the bar. They twist and turn in the air and go very fast. The gymnast must not stop moving when they are on the bar. Page 18. Rings. Two rings hang down from the ceiling. The rings are high above the floor. The gymnasts are lifted up so that they can reach the rings. Then the gymnasts pull themselves up and swing their bodies around in a big circle. The gymnasts try to keep their rings very still so that they can balance between the rings. This is very hard to do. Page 19. Horse Vault. Both men and women compete on the horse vault. The horse vault looks like the pommel horse, but it does not have handles. The gymnast run up to the horse and jump onto a springboard. The springboard helps them to bounce up and over the horse vault. When they have moved over the horse vault, the gymnast land on a mat on the other side of the horse vault. While the gymnasts are going over the horse, they flip and twist their bodies. They can put their hands onto the horse to help them get over. When men use the horse vault, it is turned one way so that they vault along the horse. When women use the horse vault, it is turned the other way so that they vault across the horse. Page 20. Tumble and twirl roll-ups. Thin slices of bread, soft cream cheese, dates and dried apricots cut up small. Cut the crust of the bread. Spread cream cheese on each slice. Put some date or apricot pieces on each slice. Roll up the bread. Follow the gymnast. Join our group and support the gymnast on tour. Competitions start in Maryvale on June 20 and finish in Greenfield on June 31st. Page 21. Safari Power answers. Events. B. Important happenings. Handles. C part of something to hold. Springboard, C. Springy board for takeoffs. Tentacles, C. Parts of an octopus. Wobbled, A. 
not steady. Wooden, B, made of wood. Page 22, the tremendous tumblers. Monkey, elephant, octopus, and cheetah are talking about how bad they are at sport. Every time I try to play tennis, I trip over my hands. Everyone calls me tumbling monkey. Every time I try to high jump, I trip over my trunk. Everyone calls me tumbling elephant. Every time I try to play basketball, I trip over my legs. Everyone calls me tumbling octopus. Page 24. Every time I try to play football, I trip over my tail. Everyone calls me tumbling cheetah. We are just not good at sport. There must be something that we can do. All of the friends sat and thought very hard. Page 25. I know. We could start a swimming team. Good idea, octopus, but I can't swim. Page 26. I know, we could start a bike riding team. Good idea, cheetah, but I can't ride a bike. There must be something we are good at. Page 27. The friends were sad. None of them could think of anything. At last, Octopus had an idea. There is something we are all good at. What is that, Octopus? We are all good at tumbling. Page 28. Yes, let's start a gymnastics team. We can be the tremendous tumblers. We can perform at the school gymnastics day. They all thought this was a good idea. Soon the gymnastics day came. Each animal told the crowd what they would do. I will do one tumble over my trunk. I will do two tumbles with a twist over my legs. Page 29. The crowd cheered. I will do three tumbles over my tail. Now I will do two tumbles through my arms. The crowd cheered. The tremendous tumblers were so good at tumbling, they won the gymnastics award for the best tumblers. Page 30. I swing from the rings. I swing from the rings. I fly in the sky. I twist and turn way up high. I let go and catch. I twist right around. High on the rings, far from the ground. I stand on my hands, my feet up above. Gymnastics is something I love, love, love. In the nest. Page 2. Gannett's Nest. Page 3. We will make our nest here, said father and mother Gannett. This is a good place for a Gannett's nest. There are lots of Gannett's nests here. Page four. So father and mother Gannett made their nest. They made their nest near the other Gannett's nests. Page five. I will lay the egg in here, said mother Gannett. So she laid her egg in the nest. Page 6. I will look after the egg, said Father Gannett. You go and get some fish. I will look after the egg. So Mother Gannett went to get some fish. Page 7. Now I will look after the egg, said Mother Gannett. I will look after the egg. You go and get some fish. So Father Gannett went to get some fish. Page 8. One day Baby Gannett came out of the egg. You look after Baby Gannett, said Father Gannett. I will go and get some fish. Page 9. You look after Baby Gannett now, said Mother Gannett. I will go and get some fish. Soon Baby Gannett will fly, said Mother Gannett. 
Baby Gannet will fly and get his own fish. Then Baby Gannet will fly away. When he comes back, he will make his own nest. Page 10. Word power. Find. Get. Look. Out. Some. This. You. Where. Will. Page 11. Get some twigs. Get some twigs. Get some twigs. Make a little nest. Now that you are finished, you can have a rest. Get some wool. Get some wool. Make a little nest. Now that you have finished, you can have a rest. Find a tree. Find a tree. Make a little nest. Now that you have finished, you can have a rest. Page 12. Nests. Page 13. Some animals live in nests. Birds live in nests. Wasps and bees live in nests. Ants live in nests. Page 14. This is a bird's nest. Look at the mother bird and the father bird. Look at the nest. Can you see where it is? Page 15. This is a wasp's nest. Look at the wasps making the nest. Can you see the wasps in the nest? Page 16. This is a bee's nest. Look at the bees. They are making the nest. Can you see some baby bees grubs? Page 17. This is an ant's nest. Look at the ants making the nest. Look at the nest. Can you see where it is? Page 18. Lazy Cuckoo. Cuckoo. I want to sit in the sun. I do not want to make a nest. You are a lazy bird, Cuckoo. I made a nest and Thrush made a nest. But you are too lazy to make a nest. Where will you lay your eggs if you do not have a nest? You are my friend. I will lay my eggs in your nest. Page 20. No, you cannot lay your eggs in my nest. Make your own nest, lazy cuckoo. Blackbird, will you let me lay my eggs in your nest? No, you cannot lay your eggs in my nest. Make your own nest, lazy cuckoo. What is this in my nest? I have three eggs in my nest. Now I have four eggs in my nest. Page 21. Cuckoo laid her egg in your nest. Oh no, Cuckoo is a lazy bird. I will not have her egg in my nest. I will toss it out. But which egg is Cuckoo's egg? I cannot tell which egg is Cuckoo's egg. I cannot tell which egg is Cuckoo's egg. Page 22. Look at the babies. Now I know which was Cuckoo's egg. Cuckoo's baby is bigger than my babies. Sparrow, you are my friend. Will you look after my baby? No, 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 lazy Cuckoo. Sparrow will not look after your baby. You will have to look after your baby yourself. I will not look after your baby, you lazy cuckoo. Page 23. Three little eggs. Three little eggs in my nest. A chick came out. Where are the rest? Two little eggs in my nest. A chick came out. Where are the rest? One little egg in my nest. A chick came out. It was a pest. Elephant and envelope. Page two. I am elephant. I have an envelope for the zookeeper. Page three. Put it in the box, elephant. Page four. I am elephant. I have an envelope and a box for the zookeeper. Page five. 
Put them in the basket, elephant. Page six. I am elephant. I have an envelope, a box, and a basket for the zookeeper. Page seven. Elephant, elephant, put all those things in your bag. Page eight. Where is the zookeeper? I have an envelope, a box, basket, and bag for him. Page nine. The zookeeper is upstairs. Take the elevator, elephant. Page 10. I am elephant. I have an envelope, a box, basket, bag, and elevator for the zookeeper. Page 11. You cannot take the elevator. You must take the stairs. Page 12. I am elephant. I have an envelope, box, basket, bag, and stairs for the zookeeper. Page 13. Thank you, elephant. I am the zookeeper. I have a trunk for you. Page 14. Mail the trunk today. It must go far away. Page 15. I am elephant. I will mail the trunk today. I will send it far away. Keyboards. Page three. These are keyboards. Page four. Did you know that a computer has keyboards? Page five. Did you know that a piano has a keyboard too? Page six. Did you know that the keyboard on a computer has letters and numbers and symbols on it? Page seven. Did you know that the keyboard on a piano has black and white keys on it? Page eight. Did you know that the keys on a computer and the keys on a piano? Page nine. Do not look like the keys for a door or the keys for the car. Page 10. Word power. Find. M. At. Did. Has. Play. Played. Up. We. You. Page 11. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. I tap on my keyboard. Tap, tap, tap. Rap, rap, rap. Rap, rap, rap. I tap out a rap. Rap, rap, rap. Page 12. Penny Piano. Page 13. Penny Piano was sad. Dora Dot had not played her for a long, long time. Page 14. I will play myself, said Penny Piano, and she did. She played and she played and she played. Page 16. The piano is playing by itself, said Dora Dot. I like it when the piano plays. I will play the piano too. Page 17. So Dora Dot played Penny Piano. And now Penny Piano is not sad. Page 18. The keyboard letters. A, B, C. Letters on the top row. Page 19. B. I want to be on the top row. C. I want to be on the top row too. Letters on the top row. Why do you want to be on the top row? B. I am the start of the ABC. Page 20. C. I am at the start of the ABC too. A. I start the ABC, not you. B and C. You can come down and we can go up. Page 21. 
letters on the top row. We like the top row. We will stay on the top row. You cannot come up. A. I like it here. I can start the ABC and not be on the top row. B. I will stay here then. I am at the start of the ABC. I come after A. Page 22. C. I will stay here too. I am at the start of the ABC. I come after B. Letters on the top row. You can start the ABC and not be on the top row. A. We will stay here. You can stay on the top row and we will start the ABC. Page 23, the keys. We are the piano keys. We are white and black. Mary likes to play us. So do Bill and Jack. Mary plays a tune on us and she sings a song. Then Bill and Jack play a duet and Mary sings along.